एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस वेबिनार आई एम आदित्य प्रभाकर शेट्टी सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट एडवर्टाइज इन्वेंटर एट टारगेटेड बाय टाटा टेक्नोलॉजीज इन दिस वेबिनार वी विल लर्न अबाउट मास्टरिंग इन सिम्युलेशन कॉनमेट बेसिक्स इन ऑटोडिक्स इन्वेंटर इन दिस देयर इज बेसिकली थ्री टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट वन इज रियो कैप वॉल सिम्युलेशन second one is creating joints and impose motion third one is calculating the driving torque on the wiper assembly first topic review a cam sim wall simulation in this we will run the simulation of cam wall assembly with and without friction to determine the torque required to overcome the swing resistance and the friction force second topic is creating a joints and impose motion in this there are basically three points create a two revolution joints by converting assembly constants and by using a insert joint tool create a two 2d contact joint to control the relationship between the two revolving sub assemblies the impose motion on joints to see the effect in the assembly third topic is calculating the driving torque on the wiper assembly in this there are two points we will use a dynamic simulation simulation on the wiper assembly to calculate the driving torque required to move the wipers finally we will use the output grapher to plot the graph and review the result let's dive deep in webinar now we will start with the first topic review cam wall simulation for that we will open the assembly of cam wall in this topic we will run the simulation of a cam wall assembly with and without a friction to determine the torque required to overcome the spring resistance and the friction force so observe that in assembly browser support one is available wall one is available and cam one is available after that first step is go to the environment tab go to the dynamic simulation in begin panel in dynamic simulation view that spring is a force joint and what and was inserted using a dynamic simulation after that go to the simulation player run the simulation click on construction mode after that in contact joint group right click on a 2d contact go to the properties give restitution 0 give friction 0 click okay after that go to the simulation player run the simulation go to the output grapher output grapher give you the graph of time versus torque you imposed the means torque it gives you the torque required without the friction save this simulation click on a construction mode after that go to the contact joints right click on a 2d contact go to the properties give friction 0.15 click okay after that run the simulation come to the output grapher graph will give the torque required with the friction after that go to the u imposed right click on u imposed go to the curve properties go to the color change the color of a graph to the red click okay click okay change will appear here after that import the simulation after that lastly here cam always present expand it select u imposed it will give you the torque required with the friction and without a friction blue line you give you the torque required without a friction and red line you give you the torque required with the friction this completes our first topic now we will go for the second topic which is creating joints and impose the motion so for that we will open the assembly
Geneva Drive assembly is open. Observe that in assembly browser, frame 1, cross 1 and rotor 1 is available. In this topic, we will create a joints to add the degrees of freedom to com components in the assembly. First, you create two revolution joints by converting assembly constants and by using the insert joint tool. Next, you create a two 2D contact joints to control the relationship between the two revolving assemblies. And finally, you impose the motion to, to the joints to see the effect in the assembly. So, first of all, you have to go to the environment step. Click on a dynamic simulation in begin panel. Simulation player dialog box will appear. Close this for now. Go to the simulation setting. Select automatically convert constant to the standard joint. Click OK. In dynamic simulation browser, there are three groups are created. Grounded one, mobile groups and standard joints. In grounded one, frame one and rotor one is available. In mobile groups, there is a cross one is available. In standard joints, there is a revolution one is available. So after that, you have to create another revolution joint. For that, you have to right click on graphics window, go to the constant. In place con constant dialog box, select type of a constant, insert, select this edge of a frame. Go to the bottom corner of a view cube. Select this curve of a router. Go to the home in a view cube. Click OK. Revolution 2 is available. Now open the cross one. This shows that working plane and projected edges for the 2D contact turns. Come to the Geneva drive. Now we have to create a 2D contact joints. For that, go to the insert joint, select joint type 2D contact. Click first curve. Click second curve. Click OK. After that, here 2D contact will available. Right click on it, go to the properties, select invert normal, Z assist in invert to the, to the normal, click OK. After that, go to the standard joints, right click on revolution 2, go to the properties, go to the DOF1, in edit initial condition for position give a degree 60 click ok now we will create a second 2d contact joint click on insert joints select joint type 2d contact select first curve select second curve click ok here second 2d contact joint will be available after that, go to the revolution to right click on it, go to the properties, go to the edit to impose the motion, enable impose the motion, go to the this arrow, constant value, give velocity 360 degree per second. Click OK. After that, you have to add external load, expand external loads go to the gravity right click here define gravity uncheck the subtrace go to the vector components give gravity for y axis minus 9.810 and give gravity for z axis is 0 click ok now go to the simulation player. In simulation player dialog box, give time value 2 and image value 60. 
run the simulation. This completes our second topic. Now we will go for the third topic, which is calculating the driving torque of the wiper assembly. For that, we will open the wiper assembly. In this topic, we will use a dynamic simulation on the wiper assembly to calculate the driving torque required to move the wipers so that you can size the motor of wiper. Then use the output grapher to plot the graph and review the results. So observe that in assembly, assembly browser, bearings 1, wind screen 1, motor crank assembly, brush assembly left, complete wiper left assembly, complete wiper right assembly, crank motor, and inter crank available. After that, go to the environment tab, click on dynamic simulation in begin panel. Simulation player dialog box will appear. Close this for now. Go to the simulation setting. Select color mobile groups. Click OK. After that, in dynamic simulation browser, in mobile group, expand welded group. Select complete wiper lift assembly and brush assembly. Go to the quick access toolbar. Change the color of this assembly to the blue wall paint glossy change will appear here after that in standard joints go to the cylindrical file right click here go to the properties go to the dof1 tab go to the edit impose the motion select enable impose the motion and give velocity 180 degree per second click ok after that go to the simulation pair Give 500 time 2 seconds and run the simulation. After that, go to the output grapher. It will, graph will show you the driving torque with a minimum velocity. So, save this graph simulation. After that, Click on construction mode, go to the cylindrical file, right click, go to the properties and change the velocity 360 degree per second, click OK, run the simulation. Output grapher graph will show you the torque required with the maximum velocity. So go to the U imposed, right click. Go to the curve properties, change the color, color change to the red, click OK, click OK, change will appear here. After that, import the simulation. Here, lastly, wiper assembly is present. Expand it, select on UM post. Here, graph will show you the driving torque. With the minimum velocity and with the maximum with the maximum velocity. After that, you have to add a trace. Click on add trace. Click on a velocity. Select the first point of a wiper. Click apply. Select opposite point of a wiper. Click OK. Click on a construction mode. After that, run the simulation. Go to the output grapher. Go to the traces. Go to the trace one. Expand it. Go to the velocities. Expand it. And click on a V. This graph will show you the the driving torque required with the minimum velocity and with the maximum velocity and the velocity trace. This completes our webinar. Thank you. For such a fascinating concept in various software, please visit to our website www.myagitate.com where you will get the number of courses.
it includes the autodesk autodesk autocad autodesk autocad electrical autodesk autocad mechanical like that courses are available in dasal system katia 3d experience solidwork in siemens digital nx solid edge team center like courses in automotive you will get the automotive courses iso gps and gdnt courses like that courses are available in ptc you will get the proe windshield in ptc crew also also we have ev courses in available in in our plan go to the i get it subscription plan and purchase our plan for skill yourself and fit for industry thank you